to the bang con vocês. What's up guys? Hope you guys are doing good. Um, today's video will be about me going to the hospital in Brazil, which was quite an experience to say the least. Um, so it was in December, uh, it was actually New Year's Eve, and I started feeling terrible in the middle of the night and I started, I'm so sorry for saying this, I started vomiting and having diarrhea and like all of this nastiness stuff and it was awful and I felt completely awful. And I think like me, I have a really low pain tolerance so like that really plays an issue <laughs> into this whole story. Um, so it started New Year's Eve early in the morning like 4 a.m. that my symptoms were happening um, and I, I just like was feeling body aches. I was, I couldn't walk. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. Like I literally couldn't do anything. And so then, uh, I was like, Benny, like, I don't, I don't want to ruin your day. Like your beach day with your family. Like I want you to spend time with them. Um, and I don't want this to like distract anything. And so he went down to the beach with his family and I was still feeling like poop literal poop and I ended up like calling him an hour later but I had to call his mom's phone I just remember that I was like babe can you come here right now and I just remember I was crying because I'm a crier and I like to cry sometimes and I just started crying she was like okay I'm coming up right now and I was just like I need a hug like I literally called him up so I get it because I went I was like feeling lonely and I had called my parents and both of them didn't answer so I was like feeling even more sad so then like my symptoms kept happening and his aunt gave me like a Dramamine which we thought would help like maybe help like maybe help me sleep like calm down the vomiting and like all that stuff because I just like don't normally vomit like I don't do it stuff like that a lot the day before we did eat a lot of like different food um i did have like food on the beach which i'll like insert a picture here to show you i think it was like fish fried fish and then like i also had um a lunch i think they call it lunch it's just like a hamburger kind of thing um and i might have eaten ice cubes which you're not supposed to eat ice cubes there because it's like you can hurt your stomach really badly which probably happened um, so then we ended up deciding that I should probably go to the hospital and get an IV, which like all of us decided as a group, like even though it was New Year's Eve, we were hoping I would get in and out like in under four hours. His dad, uh, Vinny and I, um, we all went to the hospital. So we had to sign out my name and we waited in the, like the lobby for like an hour and just, there was a bunch of people there. We just waited for my name to be called. And then my name was called and Vinny was able to come with me through everything. Thank you, Jesus. Because I don't speak Portuguese. So finally my name was called after like an hour. And Vinny came with me and the nurse did all my measurements, like all that stuff. And then we had to wait another time, which I don't remember how long the time was. But then um, it was probably like maybe 30, 45 minutes. I went back to the like where the doctor would be and then I had to wait again before the doctors in like a little tinier waiting room um and then that was probably another 45 minutes which was awful waiting because I was literally like sitting rocking there like I just felt terrible I was like aching like still all this like it's been it was going on since 4 a.m and it was like 4 in the afternoon by this time so like I was just feeling just like so bad and uh and i felt bad too because i took his dad and Vinny away from their time like spending at the beach and i was just like feeling awful about everything and like that i ended up there and then i finally saw the doctor and she spoke english which was amazing because then i could speak directly with her like Vinny didn't have to do the translation of like how i was feeling it was just nice to um have her like understand from my point of view so she decided that I should get an IV, which I did. But then the next step was to go to the room with the IV where Vinny wasn't allowed. So it was just me and like a handful of people. I'll insert a picture here of like what I looked like because I think I took a video or a picture or something like that. But I literally was just chilling in the waiting room like alone. 
with this bag like dripping into me like trying to just like clean me out I was like just get it out of me please because whatever it was it was not okay I had like some encounters of people trying to speak with me and I was just like disculpa no falo portuguese um I I don't speak Portuguese I'm so sorry like I remember speaking English to them and I was like I'm sorry like I feel so bad I don't I don't I can't speak like talk with you or anything um but I remember there was like an older woman a grandma like to the left of me and her and I would just smile at each other and I was like hmm, that's nice <laughs> I was like I'm in pain but like it's nice to smile with you or whatever and then I remember there was a guy that was like I think he drank too much alcohol or something because while he was getting his IV he was puking it was so gross and I was like Vinny oh my gosh it's like what is going on um, and then Vinny was allowed to come back in towards the end so that probably took like 40 minutes too so then he came and got me and then we started walking out and I was like okay so do I have to like pay anything and he was like no it's free that's like that's what happens when you go to a public hospital and I was like what is free I was like okay this is probably like the best feeling I've ever had because I like I never experienced this type of feeling ever which was so nice and then we were able to go back to the apartment and spend new year's evening with everybody i think i had lost like five pounds by the end of the day um i think his Vinny's mom even was like he looks like skinnier and i was like that's that's great <laughs> that's great news yeah i think my face was white like it was bad um but i i was feeling a lot better uh after the IV, and i think it was just bad ice that i ate and everything was well in the next week i was able to spend the rest of the vacation um feeling much better and yeah that's my story of the time i went to the hospital in brazil which was a crazy yet awesome weird experience and i'm so grateful for everything that happened and for the people that were supporting me and helping me there during that time and i appreciate them all and um yeah that's pretty much it i don't think i have anything else to say well thanks for watching this video obrigada and i hope you guys have a great day and make sure to subscribe and like tchau gente